I feel that, that we should have the death penalty. We've had it for, of course, many, many years. The federal judiciary, as you know, uh, for the most part, has uh, uh, nullified this particular uh, statute by granting stays. I feel that, uh, that it is a good statute as a deterrent. I, I think that we ought to have the death penalty, and I feel that, uh, that it would be a deterrent if we could have it. What do you think, other than that, could be done to try to stem the tide? There seems to be a, a rash of police and law enforcement officers being shot and killed throughout the country. Well, of course, we, we live in a day and age of growing permissiveness, and I think we see this in many areas of our society, and this includes a growing disrespect for authority and degree, and we've seen it uh, oftentimes by children toward the parents or by students toward the, the teachers or the professors. And I think that, because it's generally known that, that most officers that get killed are not personally known by the assailants, by the people who actually do it. I think that it, this is a rebelliousness against authority, uh, against the establishment, uh, the officer is He's right in the forefront. He, he represents uh, authority. He personifies authority there. And these people, in their uh, lack of moral convictions or, or in their frame of mind, take it out on the officer personally. So-called skin flick houses in Fort Worth are reportedly making their biggest profits ever with live skin showing. The advertisement that some of the theaters call attention to live nude dancers between their 16 millimeter attractions. Those who have seen the show say the banners out front are not false claims. The live nude showings are in direct violation of the city ordinance, according to city attorney S.G. Jondro. However, the theaters in question have several lawsuits pending or are on appeal in courts, which bar the law from interfering with their businesses. John Rowe said today that under the Texas Penal Code, any further action against the theaters is in the hands of the district attorney's office. Until rulings are made in the lawsuits, however, it appears that the theaters have a free hand at what the district attorney's office calls true hardcore pornography. Assistant District Attorney Don Burdett says the fight against the X-rated theaters will continue, but it will take time. A box office lady at one of the theaters said she doesn't believe society is quite ready for the live nude dancers, but in general, she says the public has received the shows well. Jim Green, Channel 8 News on the Move, Fort Worth. Regulated in what, well, I mean, what kind of regulation example, are you talking about? For example, about? I, I think that we need to see to it that this law is not abused and that people that are underage uh, are not sold. Uh, and that uh, the hour situation is, uh, is adhered to, the rule, and the people that are intoxicated, uh, that they are no longer sold to in this kind of fine. I think this is uh, logical, and, and I, I think it's reasonable, and I think that if, if the law is, is properly administered, and if the, if the Alcohol Beverage Commission has the facilities, the personnel, the manpower uh, to do this, uh, then I think that we'll not see an increase in drunk driving as a result of it.
the highway department is submitting to the city of Dallas uh, plans and specifications which brings the uh, proposed elevated highway from up top down at grade level and uh, uh, this is wonderful. We will have an opportunity to vote on that tomorrow, to vote approval and I'm sure we will. I think that the drunk driving is one of the biggest problems. Of course, we are aware that uh, traffic is big in Texas. We've got more miles of highway and, and more vehicles and more miles driven than almost any state in the Union. And we, in fact, every 16th mile is driven in all of America. Uh, last year was a Texas mile. Do you feel that uh, liquor by the drink would have any effect on drunk driving in Texas? I think that this would depend upon the degree of or the way in which uh, it's administered. I feel like that, if, that, uh, that liquor by the drink per se, just uh, as compared to it being available in, in other ways, would have little if any effect upon the, uh, the number of miles driven by people under the influence. I do think that, that this is an opportunity to take a new look at and be sure that uh, it's properly regulated. Well, it was not good. Of course, it wasn't run well. Uh, the, when we came off of this uh, test that we hadn't planned on, or a real, and it was a test we planned on, but came off as a real thing, uh, it didn't run well from start to finish. But I just don't think it's any surprise either that we really don't have an emergency broadcast system. We have a plan, and when it's put into effect, then we form a system, and this is done in a matter of just a few minutes. But this the other day uh, was, a, I guess you'd call it a fiasco, but it came down to time of a regular test. I'd like for people to know that had this been the real thing, it would have been only a matter of a few more moments when most of the stations in the country would have been alerted because there's a dedicated line from the White House right to the uh, uh, network.
this would be should be possible by the fact that we're asking that the uh, state allow us to take one dollar off of all vehicles, automobiles and vehicles, uh, on their license tags each year. And in the city of Dallas, that gives us approximately a million, uh, million hundred thousand dollars. And of course, that increases each year because of the increase in population of automobiles. This, we feel, would enable us to give a, uh, an excellent annual service. In fact, I've contacted the county judge and the commission's court and uh, they feel that they can give us one of the finest animal services in the whole United States. 